beauties? I'm Bianca Renee, and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today I'm gonna show you how I did this beautiful long ponytail without applying any heat to my actual hair. I already know some of y'all clicked on this video hot and bothered thinking that I straightened my own hair, but no, I actually just clipped on a straight wig. Now I got this hair from Wow Beauty Supply and I really wanted just a straight long ponytail. Of course they had every type of style in the world, but completely straight. So I ended up buying this wavy one. So when I originally got it, it was a big wavy curly ponytail, but I really wanted this sleek straight look. So I straightened it myself. So this ponytail cost me $22, super affordable. I did not want to spend the money on having like a real hair ponytail. It just wasn't that serious, so I did get this synthetic one, but luckily, even though it's synthetic, I am able to apply heat to it, so that's what I did. It says it could take up to 400 degrees, and it straightened really easily and turned out beautiful. But now let me show you exactly how I tucked my curly hair safely away and applied this ponytail. So I decided to start on hair completely wet, fresh out the shower. I did put on my makeup for this video so my hair kind of dry. So I am grabbing my Curl Keeper water bottle and I'm going to spritz my hair so that it's wet once again. And I actually even combed my hair back while in the shower, making it really easy to get that slick back look. So I'm using my Curl Keeper brush, this is the Curly Hair Solutions Detangler brush, and I'm using this to just brush my hair all the way through and make a very completely beautifully slicked back ponytail. After I went through all the tangles, I then got a thicker, more coarse bristle brush like this one to really slick back my hair, make sure that every piece is pulled back. Now anytime I want my hair to be slicked back for the gods, I grab my got to be gel. This is actually the gel that I use when I wear wigs and I want them to stick to my head because it's literally like glue. It's called ultra glued invincible styling gel. So I'm gonna apply a little bit more of this gel right now as we get started and then I'm just going to put it up and away into a ponytail. Now it sounds like an easy thing, right? You know, you get a scrunchie, then you just loop it around your hair and you go around once and if you're lucky you get it twice and oh! My scrunchie broke, per usual, curly hair problems even when you're putting on a straight ponytail. So once you grab your second scrunchie, let's try this again. Wrap it around, go around another time, and hold your breath. Phew, we made it. Now I'm just going to braid my hair into a regular braid. Once I get to the bottom of my braid, I'm gonna put this little tiny rubber band just to keep it locked in, and I'm going to wrap this around into a little braided bun. You want this to be as tight and compact as possible so it's not too obvious that your real hair is hiding under your ponytail. So really squeeze it, wrap it around, and then I'm going to use some bobby pins to really stick it in place so that it is secure. And this is how your bun should look once it's all tucked away, bobby pinned, and slicked back. And then I'm going to move on to these baby hairs. So that's when I grab my Curls Blueberry Bliss Curl Control Paste. This is my favorite edge control. It smells amazing and I use this to get my little baby hairs and my edges laid. Now, just to be safe, I'm gonna grab a little bit more of my Got To Be Ultra Glued Styling Gel just to make sure everything is very permanently slayed. Now it's time to grab our hair piece. So this is my very long hair piece. It has these beautiful highlights in it. And I'm just gonna brush through it so it doesn't look as matted when I wore it the other day. And as you can see, it has two clips on the inside, one on the top and one on the bottom. It also has this drawstring. So when you pull the drawstring, it really attaches to your little bun. So let me go ahead and just stick this right on top of my bun using the front clip to secure the front. And then I'm gonna pull the drawstring to lock it in place and you can make it as tight as you want so it does not fall off. It does feel really secure. And then you're gonna wrap the little band around, tuck it in, tuck it away, and there you go. 
Now I think the ponytail looks just fine as is. I think it blends in with my hair perfectly. But if you want, you could also grab another piece of hair and wrap it around and kind of hide that little indentation and just add a little cute pizzazz with some more hair on the top of your ponytail. Now because my hair is a little frizzy right now, I am going to use a straightener. I know you guys have probably never even seen a straightener in my hand. So this straightener is actually by Dorico Jackson. He is the celebrity hairstylist that actually put in my highlights and he also did my wedding. So he gave me this straightener and it does work very, very well. So I'm gonna go over this ponytail just so that it is completely silky straight. And that's all there is to it. How easy is this look? I'm telling you guys, I literally have no reason to straighten my curly hair. My hair would never look this good if I would have straightened my own hair. But now my hair is completely safe, tucked away into a little braided conditioned bun, and I just slapped on this ponytail. Look how fabulous it looks. 20 bucks to look this good? <sighs> Why not? So just for the record, I am obviously team curly, but I don't hate straight hair. I think straight hair is also beautiful. I just don't like when my curly girls and guys hate their curly hair. I don't like when you think that you need to straighten your hair in order to look beautiful. That's what I have a problem with. I like rocking straight hair. I just don't like straightening my curls. So even though I do not use a straightener on my own hair, I have no problem putting a straightener on hair that's not mine. If you enjoyed this video, there's plenty more where that came from. I post two new videos every week, once on Friday and once on Sunday. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss any more of my videos. Make sure we also become besties by following me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat at Ms. Bianca Renee. I'll see you guys next week. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today. This ponytail is definitely giving me Ariana Grande vibes, so you can go ahead and call me Ariana Renee.